O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, Holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, save your people, and mercifully hear us when we call upon you. Endue your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for us but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us. Do not take the Holy Spirit from us. The Book of Ruth, Chapter 4 now Boaz went to the village gate and sat there. Then along came the guardian, whom Boaz had mentioned to Ruth. Boaz said, Come, and sit with me, sir. And so he came and sat down. Boaz chose ten of the village leaders and said to them, Come and sit with us. And so they sat down. Then Boaz said to the guardian, Naomi, who has returned from the region of Moab, is selling the portion of land that belongs to our relative Elimelech. And so I am legally informing you. Acquire it before those sitting here and before the leaders of our people. 
If you want to exercise your right to redeem it, then do so. But if not, then tell me, so that I will know. For you possess the first option to redeem it. I am next in line after you. He replied, I will redeem it. Then Boaz said, When you acquire the field from Naomi, you must also acquire Ruth the Moabite, the wife of our deceased relative, in order to preserve his family name by raising up a descendant who will inherit his property. The guardian said, Then I am unable to redeem it, for in doing so I would ruin my own inheritance. You may exercise my redemption option, for I am unable to redeem it. Now this used to be the customary way to finalise a transaction involving redemption in Israel. A man would remove his sandal and give it to the other party. And this then would become a legally binding act in Israel. So the guardian said to Boaz, you may acquire it. And he removed his sandal. Then Boaz said to the leaders and all the people, You are witnesses today that I have acquired from Naomi all that belong to Elimelech, Kilion and Malon. I have also acquired Ruth the Moabite, the wife of Malon, as my wife, to raise up a descendant who will inherit his property, so that the names of the deceased might not disappear from amongst his relatives and from his villages. You are witnesses today. All the people at the gate and the elders replied, We are witnesses. May the Lord make the woman who is entering your home like Rachel and Leah, both of whom built up the house of Israel. May you prosper in Ephrathah and become famous in Bethlehem. May your family become like the family of Perez, whom Tamar bore to Judah, through the descendants of the Lord, who he gives you by this young woman. And so Boaz married Ruth and had sexual relations with her. The Lord enabled her to conceive and she gave birth to a, birth to a son. And the village women said to Naomi, May the Lord be praised, because he has not left you without a guardian today. May he become famous in Israel. He will encourage you and provide for you when you are old. For your daughter-in-law, who loves you, has given him birth. She is better to you than seven sons. Naomi took the child and placed him on her lap, and she became his caregiver. The neighbouring women named him, saying, Our son has been born to Naomi, calling him Obed. And Obed became the father of Jesse, who was the father of David. These are the descendants of Perez. Perez was the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab. Aminadab was the father of Naxon. Naxon was the father of Salmon. Salmon was the father of Boaz. Boaz the father of Obed. Obed the father of Jesse. And Jesse was the father of David. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Epistle to the Galatians, Chapter 5 You were called to freedom, brothers and sisters. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity to indulge your flesh, but through love serve one another. For the whole law can be summed up in a single commandment, namely, you must love your neighbour as yourself. However, if you continue to bite and devour one another, beware that you are not consumed by one another. But I say, live by the Spirit, and you will not carry out the desires of the flesh. For the flesh has desires that are opposed to the Spirit, and the Spirit has desires that are opposed to the flesh. For these are in opposition to each other, so that you cannot do what you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, depravity, idolatry, sorcery, hostility, strife, jealousy, anger, selfish rivalry, dissension, factions, envy, murder, drunkenness, carousing, and other similar things. I am warning you, as I had warned you before, those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against these things there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also behave in accordance with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, being jealous of one another. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works proceed. Give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that by you, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Collect for aid against all perils. Lighten our darkness, we beg you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants around the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all, tonight and for evermore. Amen. <laughs>